your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. We're in the midst of a study on worry. And did you know that God says, do not worry? I know there's things that we need to be concerned about. If I'm crossing the street, I want to look both ways, but I don't need to become obsessed to the point that it paralyzes my life. In Matthew chapter 6, we read that passage for us yesterday. And in Matthew chapter 6, we see that Jesus says, do not worry. Now, why would Jesus say, do not worry? Well, uh, the next few days, I want us to analyze some of the things that he says. And I want you to notice in verse number 32, it's unnecessary to worry. That is, if you are a faithful child of God, it's unnecessary to worry. But even if you're not a Christian, you're not going to accomplish anything by worrying. Look at verse number 32. For after all these things the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. God knows what you need. God's concerned about you. If you are a faithful child of God, if you have been obedient to God and you have accepted His gift of love through faithful obedience, that's love, John 14 and verse 15, if you're His child, He knows what you need and He cares about you. As a matter of fact, I want you to look at Matthew chapter 7, beginning at verse number 7. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who seeks receives and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks it will be opened. Or what man is there among you who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask Him? If you are a child of God, God is aware of your needs, and you can ask, and He'll hear the prayers of His faithful children, and He'll answer those prayers. Now, I want you to notice the point that He makes here. Even mere men, generally speaking, we're good to our children. And he makes the argument and he says, now if a mere man does that, think what God, your heavenly Father will do. He's aware of your needs and if you ask him, he hears and he answers and he takes care of our needs. We're going to talk some more about this in this series on worry and I hope you'll come back and be with us. And we thank you so much for being with us today for this, your daily 180 Bible study.